Hey, I'm Joey from Sustainable, the carnival that runs on waste vegetable oil. We've seen the coolest things around Fort McMurray that have to do with sustainability. Wherever we go, there's really neat projects that people are working on in sustainability for the community. So we teamed up with Shaw TV to cruise around and show you the ultimate in sustainability happening right here in Fort McMurray. In our first installment on sustainability, students in Fort McMurray learn to help the environment through the educational system. Let's begin at a Cole Dickens Field. We're composting. Ah, so what goes in there? You put the compost and you put it in the warm, like okay. in the soil. Our goal is to have every child and every person uh, diminish their impact on the environment by having less waste. We have waste-free lunches and we've been doing that for four years. Every child, every day is our motto. So we all bring reusable containers and reusable water bottles. At school events we have reusable plates and we use uh, no bottled waters for events as well. We also started composting because we are an apple school and we have a lot of apple cores and banana peels from our healthy snacks. We put those in our composting buckets and they are eaten by our worms. We have 16,000 worms in a composting area and throughout classrooms throughout the school. Last year they processed 3,000 apple cores and banana peels. We have student wormologists taking care of the worms, student gardening leaders, and student outdoor composting leaders. We also have student recyclers and little student leaders turning off the lights in classrooms. They're also teaching their families how to be uh, more environmentally responsible. They're pretty excited about their leadership skills and their impact on our planet. From the worm composters at Nicole Dickens Field, we move to Westwood Green Initiative Club where solar power and greenhouse projects are being utilized. The Westwood Green Initiative Club is uh, a, a group of students and one adult who are trying to make the uh, world a, a better place environmentally. We do that through greenhouse projects, outdoor gardens, solar panels, anything sustainable that we can um, put in place to uh, reduce the carbon footprint of our community. We have set up two greenhouses. One of them is a greenhouse dome that we are in right now, and another one is just outside. And over here we have big planter bins filled with soil for insulation. We have polyethylene panels to fit into the frames, the wooden frames all around here. And we have aluminum foil bubble wrap insulation. We are not really sure what we want to plant in here specifically, so we may just be transferring what we were growing in our previous greenhouse, which was onions, potatoes, carrots. Which all sound delicious and will be student grown and operated. In this program, the students are also learning about solar power, courtesy of their rooftop solar panels. But it allows us to learn more and more about how these things work, like how the sun provides energy for the, well, for the environment. And for schools. It eliminates pollution from the environment because it's natural energy and it's not burning fossil fuels or anything. Through composting programs or renewable energy, students are learning about sustainability. Thanks to teachers and students like these, we can all look forward to a green